Hi guys, uh, we thought we'd bring you another of the Scott Spark range. Uh, this is the trail version range rather than the RC version. Uh, and this is the 920 model. Really nice looking. I mean, white bikes, you know, generally um, between the team uh, don't really strike us uh, much really. It seems a, a little bit sort of boring. But this is um, this is one that's caught everybody's eye so far. It's got like a pearl effect. Yeah, you can't see yeah, it probably yeah, too well in the video. Um, but it's got a depth to the colour really, which is really nice. Uh, and that black and white just looks looks pretty striking to us. So we're, we're, we're liking this finish. Uh, the 920 spec uh, comes with the 130mm forks, um, a little bit slacker on the front end than the RC version, um, which um, puts it a little bit more into that trail category. Could you do cross country on it, racing and things like that? Yes, without a doubt, you know, it's still fast. Uh, it's still really agile um, and responsive, like you'd expect from a from a Spark from Scott. But um, it also got that little bit more travel, a little bit slacker to give you a bit more confidence um, and a, a little bit more of a capable bike. So if you've got, if you're looking for a bike that you want to do some, maybe a bit of XC racing and drop into that, but also at the weekend you like going off to do some trail centres, whether it be Canuck or Cody or Van Degra or somewhere like that then the, uh, the Spark would be that ideal bike for that. Um, this one, as we say, uh, full carbon frame, aluminium back end, uh, SRAM kit on there as well, 12 speed, of course, the Eagle. Uh, you've got the Fox Fork and the and the Fox Rear Shock, which is in there. Uh, if you've not seen the Spark before, it it's, uh, uses this uh, the, uh, the bold uh, design a little bit. It's been tweaked, so the shock is actually up here. You can get in through the, the little pocket down the bottom, so it keeps it nice and neat, super tidy. Not many pivot points on this bike, so less bearings to go wrong, um, less to be replaced. Of course, the trail version comes with a, a dropper post standard because it's pushing it more towards that, that general riding. Uh, it comes with a new integration on the front end, so to try and keep all that cables a little bit neater, a little bit tidier, we know with Scott on the twin lock, People hate to see all the cables there, so it's a little bit neater and tidier now. And the twin lock itself has now got uh, the three combined levers rather than a separate one for the dropper. So you've got a lockout, you've got that second kind of pedally bumpy phase, and then you've got that uh, full open for, for when you're really rocking it down the uh, descents. Uh, nice chunky tyres, so uh, wicked wheels on there as well. So front and rear uh, Pacific on the compounds. Um, and you know, weight-wise, it's not heavy. It's it's yeah, not exactly. super light, um, as you'd expect, really, because it's not a it's not a race XC Pacific bike. But it's not heavy by any means. Perhaps a little bit of weight in those wheels. So if you wanted to lighten it up and make it a bit of an XC whip, then you could um, you could save some weight quite easily. Um, and the final one, Shimano brakes rather than tram brakes, which pleases so many people. Uh, a lot of people just not a fan of the SRAM brake. So even though it comes with a SRAM group set, um, just got to understand that people like and want Shimano brakes. So yeah, really nice package all together. Um, price wise, uh, just over the 4K mark. Just double check that just in case. Uh, yeah, 4.2 on that really. Um, and um, yeah, good all round bike that you could just pretty much do anything on. Um, yeah, and we've got medium and large in stock available. Come and have a look if you want. Thanks very much.